When you stop searching and you calm down and you put your books away, and you confront yourself and see what you are all about, that will bring about bliss faster than anything you can ever imagine or ever do. Robert Adams, you never were the body and you will never be a body, you are pure awareness, the absolute reality, as you think about these things you become them. The worst thing you can do is think about troubles and worries. Always think about the heart, always think about the self, which is forever. If you think about anything else it is only temporary, it comes and goes. The good things, the bad things of this world, they come and go. Think only of the self, the heart. This is your reality, beauty, joy. This is beingness. This is the I am that I am. Robert Adams when you really understand who you are, you will experience unalloyed happiness. Happiness that you only dreamed about. Happiness in the silence, when nothing is happening but you're happy. Always happy, always at peace. All of the gods that you have been praying to all your life. All of the Buddhas you've taken refuge in. The Krishnas, the Kalmias, the Shivas, the Christ, Allah, they're all within you. You are that. There is only the one self and you are that. Ponder this. The knowledge of this brings you eternally infinite happiness instantly. When you begin to understand who you are, your divine nature, that you are not the body, you're not the mind. Once you understand your infinite nature, who you really are and there's nothing else, you immediately become instantly happy. For happiness is your very nature. Happiness, the self are synonymous, consciousness, absolute reality, pure awareness, are all synonymous. There is only one, it has many names, but the one pervades all of space and time, and it is the only existence and you are that, there is no other existence. Awaken to this truth, you are the only one that does exist, and you are consciousness. Robert Adams don't forget to subscribe, afterwards the wisest and most spiritual books from the greatest authors await you every day, and now buckle up, sit back and we'll begin. There is nothing to figure out, and nothing to understand, you are not a person, there is not such thing as a person, the so-called person is merely a thought in the mind of God, in truth, it's even not that, there is only pure awareness, consciousness, formless, unborn and undying, and that is who you are. How can the apparent mind possibly comprehend this? It is not possible. The finite can never understand the infinite. The mind does not exist. Seek the source of the mind, the source of the I thought, by constant, patient self-inquiry. When the mind is quiet, you shine in all your glory. Be yourself, and be happy. Robert Adams Everything is simplicity there is nothing to do. There is no place to go. There is no thing to become. You are that. Just the way you are. Awaken to your true self which is what you are right now. Robert Adams. Let me remind you again. Do not try to change your thoughts, or to change your lifestyle, or to work on your bad habits, or to try to remove fear, and the rest of it. Rather you lift your vision high, to the highest, by following the I thought to its source, and one day you will discover something interesting, your body will appear to melt, to dissolve, the world, the universe will appear to dissolve, your God will appear to dissolve, everything you stood up for, everything you have believed in, all of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, will dissolve and you will find yourself as omnipresence, all-pervading consciousness. You will discover that you've always been the ultimate reality, ultimate oneness. You are the I am. You are free. Robert Adams. There's something within you that knows what to do. There is a power greater than you that knows how to take care of you without your help. All you've got to do is to surrender to it. Surrender your thoughts, your mind, your ego, to the current that knows the way, it will take care of you, it will take better care of you than you can ever imagine. Robert Adams. Turn within, 
see the truth, become the truth, do not look to others for advice, what to do, how to live, be a lamp unto yourself as the Buddha said, all the answers are within you. Robert Adams, everything is unfolding as it should, no matter what's going on in your life, or what appears to be going on in your life, believe me it's all for your ultimate good. Robert Adams, if we consider the difference between William Henry Jackson packing in his cameras by mule, and the person stepping out of his car to take a picture with an Instamatic, it becomes clear how some of our space has vanished, if the time it takes to cross space is a way by which we define it, then to arrive at a view of space in no time is to have denied its reality. Robert Adams and when you rest in the silence, you sit still, you remain quiet, something begins to work within your heart as you become a living embodiment of the reality, of the truth, of the self. Always spend time by yourself, sitting alone in the silence, being quiet, be still and know that I am God. Robert Adams Whatever is destined to happen is going to happen, no matter how you try to stop it and whatever is destined not to happen will never happen, no, matter how much you try to make it happen. Robert Adams, all I know is that all is well, and everything is unfolding as it should, all I know is, that happiness is your true nature. Robert Adams, keep your mind on reality, merge your mind with reality, and you will experience negation and reality. You will live in a world without problems, the world may appear to have problems to others, but not to you, you will see things differently, from a higher point of view. Robert Adams, if you only knew nothing can ever happen to you, there never was a time when you weren't born, there will never be a time when you die, you have always lived, you are consciousness, you have always existed. Robert Adams. Everyone here is absolute reality, pure awareness. This is your real nature, right now, not sometime in the future, not when you get enlightened, not when you search for the answers, but right this minute, this is what you are. Why will you not accept it? When you think about yourself, do you think, you're a puny human, that has to struggle for existence and fight for survival? As long as you believe this, that's the way it's going, to be for you. But as soon as you accept the truth about yourself, that you are a delight, divine Sat Chit Ananda, you will be free. You simply have to accept this. There are no rituals you have to go through. There are no prayers you have to chant. You simply have to awaken to your true nature, pure awareness, nirvana, bliss consciousness this is what you are right at this moment robert adams you are an asset to the human race an asset to yourself an asset to god you are a wonderful person just the way you are just the way you are do not judge by appearances do not even judge yourself you are a beautiful person just the way you are when i say just the way you are i am referring to your real self consciousness you are beautiful just the way you are not what you think you are not what you appear to be not what the world shows you but just the way you are right now stand up tall do not be afraid any longer there is nothing that can hurt you there is nothing in this world that can actually do anything to you you are free you are the substrategation tome of all existence everything is an image on consciousness the whole universe, all the planets, all the galaxies, are all images on consciousness, and you are consciousness, know yourself and be free. Robert Adams, the issue is not just that land developers have unbalanced the ecology and made much of the geography ugly, what strikes so painfully is, at least in the perspective of our brief lives, they have destroyed the places where we became, and would like to continue to become, ourselves. Robert Adams, the following tale is a fantasy, pure and simple, 
It is a flight of sheer imagination. It contains no hidden meanings, and none should be read into it, none of the sociological, economic, political, religious, or racial messages with which far too many modern novels abound are herein contained. The coming of the horse clans is, rather, intended for the enjoyment of any man or woman who has ever felt a twinge of that hativistic urge to draw a yard of sharp, flashing steel and with a wild war cry recklessly spur a vicious stallion against impossible odds. Robert Adams, all is well, all is well, all is perfectly well, never forget that, do not think about it. Do not try to analyze it, just accept it in your heart. Robert Adams, whatever is destined to happen is going to happen, no matter how you try to stop it, and whatever is destined not to happen will never happen, no matter how much you try to make it happen. Robert Adams, the power that knows the way will take care of you, the one who makes the sun shine, the grass grow, the apples grow perfectly on apple trees, the food that sustains us, nourishes us, everything has been lovingly provided for us, have faith, trust the power that knows the way, this is a first step, to have total faith and total trust in the infinite, the one, you, may call this God if you want to, makes no difference what you call it, it is within you, it is without you, it is everywhere. Robert Adams, there's really no reason to come to Satsang at all, unless you have an open heart. If you came to Satsang with an open heart, reality will be yours, not my reality or your reality, but reality, the reality, what people call the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God, you are already that. But you have so many concepts you cover it up, you have so many feelings and dogmas and attitudes that you cover up the godliness, so you have to open your heart and let your reality shine through. How do you do this? By keeping silent, by not being judgmental, by leaving the world alone. There will always be something in this world to correct, either in yourself or in your family or in the world or people. You have learned from experience that you cannot do this. The correction is always made within yourself. It is yourself with the small s that sees the problem. But if you try to resolve the problem outside of you, it will never be resolved. It's resolving yourself, knowing the truth, understanding who you are, that brings you peace and realization. Robert Adams. You are born again, now, and all is glory and joy. This is what it means to be born again, to realize that you exist now, in this moment. Robert Adams, I am that which has always been, I am that which will always be, I am that I am. Robert Adams, you are utter negation nitty, you are fathomless space, you are the essence of the whole universe, you are the sky, the sun, the moon the flowers, the animals, the insects, human beings, your everything. This is your real nature, no one ever dies. Robert Adams, I am as the first name of God. When you want to think of God, you think of I am with your respiration. I am as the first name of God. Close your eyes and try, inhale and say, I exhale and say, am. Inhale say, I exhale say, am. Doesn't that make you feel good? Just by saying I am to yourself, it lifts you up. So the thing to do is this, whenever you have a problem, I don't care what it is, I don't care how serious you think it is, whether it's personal or worldly, wherever it came from, the secret is to forget yourself. For the moment, forget about the problem for as long as you can and do the I am meditation. Every time the problem comes back to you, do the I am meditation. If your mind wanders, bring it back again and do the I am meditation. Robert Adams. In the Bhagavad Gita it says, out of a million people, one searches for God, and out of a million people who search, one finds him. It's sort of difficult, that's how it appears. 
But if you begin to use I am as a meditation and you allow the I am to go deeper and deeper, your bodily consciousness will disappear, and I am will take over. Robert Adams, everything is God, God is all there is, there is only the one, and the one is everything that exists, you consequently have to start feeling this in your heart, for your heart center is omnipresence, all pervading. It includes the whole universe. Robert Adams, work on yourself and never react to the condition. This is the freedom you've got from Dharma and Karma. When you begin to see the truth in yourself, automatically you will be picked up by the power that knows the way, and you'll be placed in a position or place where you are supposed to be at this time. This is why I tell you so often, there are no mistakes. It appears complicated to the finite mind, but you are in your right place, going through those experiences that are right for you at this time. Only if you are thankful and you bless the position you're in, do you become a higher being, do you lift yourself up, and finally you find liberation. But it begins and ends with you. Never pray to God for release of your problems. Never pray to God to change your life, and to give you something better. This is wrong prayer. If you have to pray to God, pray to God to give you the strength and the wisdom and the courage that you need to be able to handle the situation that you're in. This is correct prayer. Do not try to change anything. Be yourself. Work on yourself. Begin to see things in a new light. See your situation differently. There are no bad things, there are no good things, but thinking makes it so. Stop thinking of the extremes, good and bad, right and wrong. Rather look at yourself in the moment, stay centered, see yourself as a divine being, an infinite being, totally free and liberated. Do not feel sorry for yourself because you are in a position and in a situation you don't like. This just holds you there more. And again as we mentioned before, even if you run away from a situation, you will attract some of the circumstances elsewhere. Running away is never the answer, changing yourself is the answer. Robert Adams, what is rightfully yours, no one can ever take away. Robert Adams, the form the photographer records, though discovered in a split second of fact, implies an order beyond itself, a landscape into which all fragments, no matter how imperfect, fit perfectly. Robert Adams, it really makes no difference what sadhana you practice, whether you practice Zen, or Taoism, or mystical Christianity, or Kabbalah, what you practice makes no difference. But what are you doing with the practice? Are you really diving deep within yourself and finding your own reality? Or are you still reading many books, going to many lectures, becoming totally confused? Leave the world alone. Do not try to correct the world. When I say correct the world, I mean correct people, places or things. Everything has a tendency to balance itself. There are certain laws in this universe that take care of itself. There's a power and a presence that knows the way, and you are told to surrender to this power, to this presence. Complete surrender, not my will, but thine. This is the highest teaching of any system. When you give up your ego, totally surrender, and allow the powers that be to direct you, and guide you, and take care of you and unfold as you, everything will work out. Robert Adams So there are two ways of seeing this world. One is Maya, the grand illusion. You want nothing to do with this, this is what creates problems. This appears to create animosity, sorrow. But then there is the real world, the world of the self, the world of bliss, the world of total joy, unalloyed peace and happiness. This is what you really are. This is your real nature, your Swarupa. You have always been this and you will always be this. Forget about the past. Do not worry about the future. Have total faith, total joy, in yourself. Only when you can understand yourself as all-pervading consciousness can you possibly understand that all the universe is an emanation of your mind. 
Everything that you see comes out of you. You are the creator. You are the God. You are the avatar, the Atman, all the gods that you've heard of. The Buddha, Krishna, Jehovah, Allah, they're all you. You are that. You are nothing else but that. You've always been that. Det Vamasi. This is you. Robert Adams. The power that knows the way will take care of you. The one who makes the sun shine, the grass grow, the apples grow perfectly on apple trees. The food that sustains us, nourishes us, everything has been lovingly provided for us. Have faith, trust the power that knows the way. This is a first step, to have total faith and total trust in the infinite, the one. You may call this God if you want to. Makes no difference what you call it. It is within you, it is without you, it is everywhere. Robert Adams. Awaken, be free, be yourself. You are the joy of the world, the light that shines in darkness. You are a blessing to the universe. Love yourself always. When you love yourself, you love God. Forget about the past, never dwell on the past. Remember, time and space does not exist. Robert Adams. When you are aware that you are consciousness, then you are everywhere and you're everything. When you realize you are everything, you become master of all. Robert Adams. You are everything in the universe. You are the universe. The whole universe emanates out of your self. You then become God. And all the gods and goddesses will come to you with folded hands. For you have become that. Robert Adams. You're everything in the universe, you are the universe, the whole universe emanates out of yourself, you then become God, and all the gods and goddesses will come to you with folded hands, for you have become that. Robert Adams. You do not become part of the karma game, you have risen above this, and as you become peaceful, anger slowly drops from your consciousness as all anxiety and bitterness and hate are transcended and you begin to feel a wonderful peace. You begin to notice that those people who come into your aura also feel peaceful, feel harmonious. You're not doing anything voluntarily. You have just risen. You have risen to a higher state of consciousness. Robert Adams. Everything is unfolding as it should. Everything is right. You have to forget about yourself and expand your consciousness until you become the whole universe. The reality in back of the universe is pure awareness. It has no problems. And you are that. Robert Adams. Everything is unfolding as it should. Everything is right. You have to forget about yourself and expand your consciousness until you become the whole universe. The reality in back of the universe is pure awareness, it has no problems, and you are that. Robert Adams, feel that I am it, pure awareness, I have always been it, there never was a time when I was not it, the appearance of the body cannot fool me any longer, the world and all its manifestations cannot fool me any longer. The universe with its planets and galaxies and solar systems cannot fool me any longer. I can see through these things to the source. I can feel the source because I am the source. I have always been the source. There never was a time when I was not. As far as thoughts are concerned, they do not exist. They can no longer bother me or make my life miserable. As far as others are concerned, there are no others. There is only the source. I can no longer be deceived. There is no thing that has ever transpired in my life that can hurt me. I forgive everyone and everything, and especially myself. I am the power and the presence and the glory. If I am that, so is everybody else. So is everything else. All is well. Robert Adams. Feel that I am it. Pure awareness. I have always been it. There never was a time when I was not it. The appearance of the body cannot fool me any longer. The world and all its manifestations cannot fool me any longer. The universe with its planets and galaxies and solar systems cannot fool me any longer. I can see through these things to the source. I can feel the source because I am the source. 
I have always been the source, there never was a time when I was not, as far as thoughts are concerned, they do not exist, they can no longer bother me or make my life miserable, as far as others are concerned, there are no others, there is only the source, I can no longer be deceived. There is no thing that has ever transpired in my life that can hurt me, I forgive everyone and everything, and especially myself, I am the power and the presence and the glory, if I am that, so is everybody else, so is everything else, all is well. Robert Adams. In the silence is where all the power is, in the silence is where all the answers are, happiness comes to you all by itself. Joy comes to you, when you sit in the silence you remember who you are, we come to see we are all one self, what does this mean, it means we are not separate, we are one, one self, think of that, we are all the one self. Robert Adams, you simply live your life in a wonderful way, everything takes care of itself, and you notice that your consciousness is expanding. It began by thinking of yourself, and now it is expanding to take in the world, to take in the universe, and then you begin to see everything in this uni negation versus an image on the screen. And you are the screen, you never worry again, you never fear anything again, you understand the wholeness of everything, and there are no mistakes, all is well, nothing is wrong. Robert Adams as many of you know, I have had a constant vision, periodically, of myself going to Arunachala, the sacred mountain where Ramana Maharishi lived, and the mountain is hollow in the vision, and I go through the mountain, to the center, where there's a bright light, a thousand times brighter than the sun, but yet it's pleasing and calm, and there's no heat, and then I meet Ramana, Jesus, Ramakrishna, Nisargad Nagashanata, Laosi, and others, and we smile at each other, we walk toward each other, and melt into one light, and become one, then there's a blinding light and an explosion, and then I open my eyes. Robert Adams. You must want to be free, it must become first with you before anything else. Everything that you've done all your life, is only a game, a game you're playing with yourself, only it seems to be real, the only reality is the self and you are that, why look for anything else, everything else will take care of itself, you've got to abide in the self, just in the self, everything else will take care of itself in a beautiful way, your boundless space, like the ocean, like the sky, all pervasive, this is your real nature, but for some reason you believe you are a body, confined to a small space, this is not you, it's illusion, you are all pervading absolute reality, this is your true nature, this is who you really are, just by thinking about these things all the time, something begins to happen to you, something wonderful, do not think about the weather, or about the day's work or your problems, for all the thinkers, who thinks, find out who has the problems, find out who you really are, who am I, it's up to you to awaken from this mortal dream, you can keep on going like you are right now, with the good things and the bad things, yet you live in a universe of dualities, which means for every good there is a bad, for every bad there is a good, it's a false world in which you live, you need to awaken to this truth, be aware of yourself, always, the world goes through its own karma, it has absolutely nothing to do with you, you belong to God, everything you see is God, this is why you should be non-judgmental, leave everything alone, by practicing these things, you become radiantly happy, Everyone wants something, if your mind stops thinking, what happens, some of you believe you will not have anything, that you will have more problems, but it's in reverse, you experience bliss, joy and happiness when you don't want anything, from what we know, people want something and when they get it, they become more miserable than ever before, nothing is wrong, everything is right just the way it is, 
Do not try to understand this or figure it out, leave it alone, it will happen by itself. By keeping yourself quiet and still, you quiet the mind because of realization, let it be calm, in all situations be calm, let it be still and quiet, the world doesn't need any help from you, aren't you the world, aren't you the creator, you created the world the way it is, it came out of you, of your mind, the world that you are in, is a creation of your own mind, when the mind becomes still, the world begins to disappear, and you're in divine harmony and joy, therefore, happiness comes to you when you stop thinking, when you stop judging, when you stop being afraid, when you begin to contemplate what is happiness, all the answers are within you, everything you're looking for is within you, everything, nobody can help but yourself, know who you are, you are the power, all the, power of the universe is within you, you have all the power you need, all is well, exceedingly well, it has always been well, it will always be well, when you leave here today act like a god or a goddess, do not act like a human being any longer, stop feeling sorry for yourself, saying you're unhappy, stand up tall, know the truth about yourself, become the witness of all phenomena that you see and be free peace. Robert Adams. Only you can know, yourself, for there are no words to describe it. You have to come to terms with your life. Robert Adams. This universe, my friends, is an optical illusion. Robert Adams. Suffering will only stop, not when God answers your prayers, but when you awaken to the truth of your own being. Robert Adams. You look at the movie and you see all kinds of dastardly things going on, but then you catch yourself and you say, it's only a movie, it's not the truth, and so it is with life. You observe everything that's going on in life, you watch, you look, you see, yet you never react, you are never for or against, you understand, and this makes you free. Robert Adams And that's not all. Our experts and regular viewers respond to all comments. Also check if you forgot to subscribe and set your bell to receive notifications about new audiobooks and other useful self-development materials that we release regularly. Join in the discussions, don't forget to give likes and, if possible and inspired, support the development of the channel financially. All useful links will be in the description and the first attached comment. Goodness love and wisdom to all. And now move on to watch the next part of the video at the links below, or choose something from the playlists of the channel and those you see on the screen.